The third and final case study we're making um, for our administration topic is that of Germania, um, or modern Germany. So the key questions you need to make notes on are, number one, why were the Romans planning to invade Germany? Number two, what was the massacre of the Teutoburg Forest? Number three, how did Augustus and the Romans react to this? And number four, how did it change Augustus's foreign policy? Um, so we'll start off with a little bit of background. Um, Augustus wanted to secure Gaul, which was a Roman province, um, because the German tribes had been coming from the north and raiding Roman territory. And so Drusus was in charge of Western Germany from 12 till 10 BC, and then Tiberius took over after Drusus died in 9 BC. So he was quite successful for this, but as you'll remember from um, the last lesson, when the Pannonians revolted, Tiberius was called away to deal this, with this. And so a man called Publius Quintilius Varus was put in charge of the Rhine area as the governor. Um, however, he was a really unsuitable general, um, and because of his actions, which we'll look at a bit more in class, a rebellion arose. And so later that year, he was tricked into battle in unfamiliar country um, by a man that he thought was his ally. Um, so in the massacre of the Teutoburg Forest, um, his army of 20,000 men was destroyed. Um, three standards were also lost, and because of this shame and humiliation, Varus com committed suicide. Um, and this is a really devastating victory for Rome. Uh, not victory, sorry, defeat. Um, and if we look at how, how the Romans reacted, so firstly Augustus was greatly distressed at this news. So it was a really huge loss of life and also good soldiers. The um, legions around the Rhine were, were really good Roman soldiers. Gaul was left undefended as a result, and there was a big fear um, of a German attack on Italy. Um, also, the, the men of Rome were largely unwilling now to sign up as legionary soldiers. It was, it was quite scary for them. Um, so instead, men of military age were drawn at random and conscripted. And so if they were chosen, they lost their citizen rights and were forced to join up. Um, and with these reinforcements, Tiberius and Germanicus hurried back to Rome. Um, they didn't attempt to regain the lost territory, even though the Romans could have done so. Um, so as we'll see, it marks a change in policy for Augustus. So now, instead of expanding the empire, he's trying to consolidate it to make it stronger. And so Rome's boundary was set at the Rhine River instead of further north at the Elbe, um, and it was left permanently guarded. Um, Augustus never replaced those legions which were lost, so the, the total number of legions remained at 25, and these were stationed around the empire. Um, and when he died, he's, he advised um, his successor to continue to keep the empire within these boundaries. Um, and... This advice had a very strong effect, and it was largely continued by the later emperors, with only a few exceptions. Um, so just check you've got the notes on the key questions. So why the Romans wanted to invade Germany, what the massacre of the Teutoburg Forest was, the reaction of Augustus and the Romans, and the long-term consequences and its change to Augustus's foreign policy. So make a note of any questions, and we can discuss them in class. I'll see you there.